This figure represents a quadrilateral ABCD because it has four sides, therefore this is a quadrilateral such that the opposite sides that is AB and CD and AD and BC are parallel to each other. Therefore in this polygon that is quadrilateral the side AB is parallel to side CD and side BC is parallel to side AD. Therefore this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. parallelogram. So the definition of a parallelogram is a parallelogram is a type of quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel to each other. Okay, now this angle, angle D and angle B and angle C and angle A, these, this pair and this pair, these two are the pairs of opposite angles. So angle A, D, C and angle A, B, C, these are one pair, this is one pair of opposite angles and angle D, C, B and angle B, A, C, this is another pair of opposite angles. Okay, now if you look at this angle, that is angle D and angle C, we are simply saying it angle D or angle C, otherwise the correct way will be to say angle A, D, C and angle B, C, D. Okay, it's still angle A, D, C and angle B, C, D. This is one pair of adjacent angles. Similarly, angle this angle D and this angle A, this is another pair, so angle ADC and angle BAB, this is another pair of adjacent angles. Similarly, if you take this angle A and angle B, this is another pair of adjacent angles, so angle D A B and angle A B C this is another pair of adjacent angles and then if you look at this one this angle B A B C and this angle A C D so angle A B C and angle B C D this is another pair of adjacent angles. Now, if you look at this line segment, line segment CD and line segment AB, these two line segments as we have written here are parallel to each other and they are opposite sides and they are equal to each other. So this pair of opposite sides is parallel, we have already mentioned here, but they are equal also. So side AB is equal to side CD and this is pair of opposite sides. Right? Opposite sides and they are parallel also. We have already mentioned it. Similarly, this side BC and side AD, we have written that they are parallel to each other, are opposite sides but they are equal also. So side BC is equal to side AD. They are opposite sides. And they are parallel also. Right? Now, 
we are done with opposite sides we are done with opposite angles we are done with opposite adjacent angles in the like opposite sides are equal and parallel to each other in the same way opposite angles that we have mentioned here these are also equal to each other so the angle adc and is equal to angle abc angle adc and angle abc will be equal to each other and angle similarly angle dcb will be equal to bac that we have written here yes they are opposite angles but they are equal also right so opposite sides are equal and parallel this one this one and this one and this one opposite angles are equal to each other now this line segment that is joining the opposite vertices is actually diagonal diagonal bd so this line segment bd is one diagonal and this another diagonal is side ac sorry not side line segment ac this is another diagonal so diagonals are the line segments that join the opposite vertices and if we suppose that this the point where this intersect if we suppose it as o then this o is actually the midpoint of both of these diagonals diagonals are not usually equal to each other this point o that is the intersection point of these two diagonals is a midpoint for both of these diagonals that is this od is equal to ob and this oa is equal to oc because they intersect in a way that this point of intersection acts as a midpoint for both of these diagonals that is for bd o is a midpoint and for ac o is the midpoint 